Located along coastlines, kelp forests resemble giant forests, with leaves that sway with the underwater currents instead of with the wind. While their appearance is similar to that of towering plants, kelp are actually large brown algae of a variety of species. The kelp that we have locally is known as giant kelp, but there are around 30 different species of kelp globally. One of the defining features of kelp forests is how fast they grow. Kelp is one of the fastest growing organisms in the world, growing up to 61 centimeters per day, and some species can even reach 30 to 45 meters in an ideal environment. The nutrient-rich, widely diverse kelp forest ecosystem is home to many different marine organisms. This nutrient-rich water is due to upwelling. Upwelling is the motion of dense, cool, and nutrient-rich water to the surface of the ocean. This nutrient-rich water replaces the warm, nutrient-depleted surface water. This is vital to the health of kelp forests. Organisms in the kelp forests include marine mammals, fishes, and invertebrates, all of which contribute to the ecosystem being so diverse. While predatory fishes exist in the kelp forest, the structure provided by the kelp serves as a protective nursery ground for many marine species. Kelp forests are an ideal nursery for many organisms because of the many species that have evolved color patterns and body forms that help them blend in with kelp, hiding the juveniles from predators. Kelp forests are also a relatively safe place for marine life to anchor themselves while, st while storms create a volatile underwater environment. Within this environment, the most iconic relationship in kelp forests is among sea otters, sea urchins, and the kelp. Kelp forests depend on species such as sea otters to prey on sea urchins. Without, without sea otters or sea urchin predators, such as sea stars and eels, the sea urchins destroy the kelp forests, eliminating a critical ecosystem on which many organisms depend. Kelp is extremely important because it increases the productivity of nearshore near ecosystems as well as provides a habitat for many different fishes, invertebrates, and plants, as I said. Kelp is also important because it slows down the movement of water. As the water flows through the kelp, it is slowed down. This is beneficial to the organisms that, have, that live inside of the kelp forest and have their young inside of the kelp forest. But unfortunately, human activity can add to the destruction of kelp forests, which threatens the delicate ecosystems and diverse species that they support. Practices such as pollution, overfishing of certain species that protect kelp from predators such as urchins, and commercial kelp extraction. If we fail to protect kelp forests, we could lose one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on Earth. So, what can we do to help protect our kelp forests? First off, we can support the protection of marine mammal species like sea otters and other species uh, um, such as sea stars that keep sea urchin populations in balance. Urchins devour the holdfast of the kelp, causing them to become loose in the water column. So it is very important to protect the species that keep the urchin populations in check. We can also reduce our energy consumption to try to offset the warming and acidification of ocean waters, which threaten the kelp forest's health due to the specific environmental conditions in which the, these algaes can thrive. Let's keep our kelp forests safe and our oceans happy.